Hi there, I'd like to show you a card trick that's based on mathematics or algebra. So the first part of the presentation, I'll perform the trick. The second part, I'll show you how to do the trick. And the third part, I'll show you the, some of the mathematics behind it. I believe maybe a lot of math tricks, especially card tricks, are done using algebra. So the trick starts off like this. I have a couple piles of cards here. Uh, six are shown here. So the object of the trick is I'm going to be able to guess where I'm going to be able to determine what one of the cards, one of these top cards are in these piles. So the first part is just to mix up the piles to the observer. So we'll just mix up these piles. It doesn't um, matter which one it is. And the next step is you ask the person you're doing the trick on is to pick uh, three of the piles. So we'll pick three of the piles. So we'll say, uh, say it's these three here. And so we take the other three away. And we put them with the remaining, these are the remaining cards. So we'll put the three piles with the remaining cards. We'll just put it right over here. So then you ask the person that you're doing the trick on to lift two of the cards from the top of the deck. So let's say we lift this card up, which is a three of hearts, and we lift this card up, which is the eight of hearts. So now I'm going to guess what this card is. I'm going to determine what uh, this card is uh, without knowing what it is. So I, I pick up all the rest of the cards of the 52 card deck. Here, here they are here. And I tell the person I'm doing the trick on, I could see through these cards. I can see through all these cards without flip them, flipping them over. And so I'm going to go through all these cards. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so I put the, these down. So now I want to guess what this card is. So um, I have to think a little bit. And um, so let's see. Uh, I'm going to guess what this card is now. Um, let's see. This card is going to be a six of hearts. Ta-da! Now how did I do that? How did I know that? In the next part, I'll show you how to do this trick. So now I'm going to show you how to do this trick. So what I did is I picked, uh, I picked out some of the hearts. I picked out uh, six of them. It's kind of arbitrary. It doesn't matter how many hearts you pick out. But there's a little bit of setup you have to do. So I picked um, six of them that are going to be my top cards. So these are the six cards I have. Um, it could it doesn't have to be you know hearts. It could be clubs or you want to you want to have the same um, you want to have the same type of card. It could be clubs, spades, diamonds, hearts. But uh, it could be you know lesser lesser cards. You could have three of them or. Uh, in this case, I had six. You could have seven of them. Okay, but the trick is what you have to do is uh, set up these decks, set up the piles. So I'll show you how to do that. So you want to make some piles here. So what you have to do is you have to take each top card and it has to uh, add up to 13. Like you start like this. So let's say this is eight of hearts here. So I take this card and this is the remaining of the cards. So this is eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So it has to end at 13. So that makes one pile here. So then I take, um, this is five. So I get five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 
13. So that adds up to 13. So now I take 9. This is 9. 10, 11, 12, 13. So then I take, this is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So now, what I have, this is a 3. So this is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I put that there. So this is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I have um, some remaining cards over in this pile here. So I just take this and I'll, I'm just going to put this over here for now. So out of these six piles, I tell the person I'm doing the trick on, you could uh, rearrange these any way you want. I'm not memorizing these top cards or anything. So they could swap these around any way they would like to. So I'm going to do that. So you swap them around any way you would like to do it. So I have these six piles. So then I tell the, the person I'm doing the trick on, okay, so just pick three of these piles and, and just give me the, the other three. So let's say they pick these. It doesn't matter which three they pick. So let's say they pick this. Uh, they just keep these three. I'm gonna, so I'm going to put these away with this deck here. So then I ask the person I'm doing the trick on to lift up two of the top cards and I'm going to guess the other card. I'm going to determine the other card. So they lift up this card which is a four hearts and they lift up say this card which is the eight hearts. So I'm going to tell them I know what this card is. I'll tell you what they are but I, I have to see through the cards first. So what I do, the trick here is to take this deck now and and I may believe I'm looking through the cards but I'm not really looking through them but what I'm doing is I'm counting them so I'm, I'm going to count these cards but of course I'm not going to tell a person um, doing the trick on that I'm counting these cards so I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So I have 28 here, 28 cards. Okay, so I know that number now. Here is 28 cards, so I put this down. I could put it over here. Okay, so the trick is now, I know I have 28 here. So the trick is to add these two cards up. So I have an 8 and a 4. 8 and 4 is 12. And then I add 10 to that. So 12 plus 10 is 22. So I take this number here, which is I counted was 28, and I subtract 22. 20, I got 22 because 8 and 4 is 12 plus 10. 10 is a constant. So, so, I, so I take 28 minus... 22, so 28 minus 22 is 6, so this should be a 6 of hearts. Ta-da! So in the next part of this uh, presentation, I'm going to show you the mathematics behind this. You know, why is this a 6 of hearts? How did I know that that was a 6 of hearts? And so I showed you the trick set up, and you could easily do this, just getting a, a deck of 52 uh, standard cards, and uh, go through this procedure, and it works every time. So I'm going to go through some of the mathematics and explain how this works. Okay, so this is the math behind this algebraic card trick. So we have some uh, parameters here. So, so XC is our unknown card value. Okay, so that's the unknown that we're trying to solve for. So we're trying to solve for... XC in pile 3 
and YC is the known card value and Z is C is the second known card value. So there's a lot of different variations you could do on this trick. There's a lot of different ways of doing this. And um, so this is this particular way where I have uh, three piles and I lift two of the cards on the on uh, the top of two of the piles and then I'm trying to guess uh, this one, this particular one here. So the object is to determine this card. This is the unknown value and I have a uh, YSC and ZSC are known values. Those cards are known because I could see them because they're lifted. I asked the person I'm doing the trick on to lift those cards up. So other parameters involved are, I uh, have this variable called N of N, which is equal to 52. That's the number of cards in a deck. So I use these subscripts. Uh, if I have a C, that means that's the value of the card. And N is a, a, a number of cards. Okay. So N of N is equal to 52, that's the number of cards in the deck, and P of N is an offset number, which is equal to 14. So that's pile offset factor of the number of cards, okay? So uh, Y of N is the number of cards in pile 1, and Z of N is the number of cards in pile 2, and X of N is the number of cards in pile 3. So pile 3 is the one I'm going to guess, X of I'm actually going to guess X of C, but I'm going to determine X of N. And so uh, C of N is a known, and that's the count of the rest of the unused cards. So this is a known value, and this is a known value. So I have three known values, basically, and I'm going to solve, I'm going to develop an equation to solve for this card, which is X of C in pile 3. So pile 1 has a known value, and pile 2 has a known value. Note that the cards in each pile adds up to 13. So there's a relationship between the face-up cards of each pile and the number of cards in each pile. So for pile 1, X of N is equal to P of N minus X of C. And this is what P of N, P of N is just 14. That's an offset number. And uh, X of C is the value of the card uh, that had uh, these piles were previously set up before the trick is done. So, so if after x of n is equal to uh, 14, 14 minus x of c. So let's say x of c is um is uh the six six of uh it doesn't matter you know I, I uh, the suit of the card I have previously set up. So this is independent of the suit of the card. So let's say x of c is uh, eight. So 14 minus uh, 8 uh, would then be 8. So then there would be 8. Uh, X of N would be equal to 8. So four, uh, now four, 14 minus 8 is, um, is 6. So if X of N would be 6, if X of C was 8. So likewise for pile 2, I have a Y of N. And for pile 3, I have a Z of N. So Z of N is equal to P of N minus Z of C, which is 14 minus Z of C. So, I'm, uh, so X of N and Z of N are kind of known. Uh, well, it's really Y of C and Z of C are known. And I'm going to try to guess what X of C of, is X of uh, subscript C. So this is the one that's unknown. And these two piles are, are known. So the, uh, so the way the equation works is the total number of cards adds up to 52 because there's 52 cards in a deck. So N of N, is, which is 52, is equal to C of N. Now C of N is the count. So I go through and count the rest of the used cards. I pretend that I can see through the cards when I'm doing the trick, which I really can't do, but I'm just counting the cards. So N of N is equal to C of N plus what's in this pile, which is which is in these remaining piles, plus this pile, plus this pile. So N of N, 52 is equal to C of N. So this is always a constant 52, but these could be, be uh, they could be different. So C of N plus X of N plus Y of N plus Z of N. So if I expand these out, X of N is equal to, uh, so I know N of N is 52, and X of N is 14 minus X of C, and Y of N is 14 minus Y of C, and Z of N is 14 minus Z of C. So I go and I uh, simplify this equation. So uh, I take all these, add up all these 14s, I get 42. So 14 
times 3 is 42. So 52 is equal to 42 plus CN minus X of C, Y of C, minus Z of C. So the final equation is, uh, this is my unknown I'm trying to solve for. Then as I take, as I take the count of remaining cards and I subtract Y of C, subtract Z of C, and subtract 10. So that gives me the final card. So, so, C, uh, C, so what I basically do is I take C of N, and I, I take these. I take these two. I add uh, the two cards on the decks that I've shown. So Y of C and Z of C. So I actually add those and add 10 to it. Then I take that whole value and subtract it from C of N, and that gives me the resulting card. Ta-da! So that's how this uh, this card trick is done. It's done through algebra. So it's interesting, you can fool a lot of people with this, but it's basically the solution for an algebraic equation, which I find very interesting uh, to do a mathematical card trick like that. So anybody could uh, do this, there's no uh, quick hand or sleight of hand that you have to do, it's just all mathematics. So if you don't understand this equation, go back and see how I set up the cards. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope you learned something about uh, mathematical card tricks. Bye now.